Hello guys, uh, just got back from a local high school game, uh, I'm all the time going to games, uh, uh, so I'm well busy, I haven't been able to analyze any more of the Indiana Georgetown game like I wanted to, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to include that with like the Ball State preview I'm going to do, uh, but man, good high school basketball tonight that I seen so uh, it was pretty good uh, but yeah and then tomorrow night I have a game uh, I have to shoot so uh, pretty crazy but I know the lighting is kind of bad uh, I, I apologize for that uh, I'm gonna try to improve the lighting in my car so I like doing this in my car sometimes I actually like the last two vlogs have been shot now so uh, yeah, so I've been busy. Uh, I have watched the IU Sound game. I watched it live with a good friend of mine. Uh, and since then, I watched it a couple times. But I was editing photos and stuff like that, so I couldn't pay attention too much. But but in general, the things that I seen I didn't like because it just didn't seem like in the end I was attacking the basketball uh, or the basket. Uh, I mean, in the end, it wasn't attacking the basket. Uh, and it seemed like they didn't take care of the basketball too well. Uh, but, you know, you see it in mulch all the time where teams struggle because they just all of a sudden just quit attacking the basket and they take stupid threes. Uh, that's like a pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand it when teams take stupid threes. I mean, it's okay to take threes, but certain circumstances, you never want to take a three, in my opinion. And uh, and you see it happen all the time in college basketball. And and uh, in the end, it, it seemed like I did it once or twice to take a stupid three. And Yogi Ferrell. He, he shot a couple that he probably shouldn't have. Uh, I just didn't like it, like it. But I mean, he's he's doing awesome, man. He's a freshman. Defensively, he's just spot on. Uh, you know, you can't. It's awesome. Uh, but defensively, as a, as a whole, as a collective unit, I think Indiana needs to step it up a little bit more. Uh, I'd like to see him press a trap a lot more. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, and Zell needs to finish, like I said in the previous vlog. I mean, he just needs to, I don't know. I think the flu's still affected him, I don't know. Uh, but Holes is doing, Holes in my opinion, Holes. So far, it's all in the season, but Holes, right now, the best player on Indiana. Uh, he gets my vote for him, team MVP right now. I mean, he's just playing just fantastic. Um, but, you know, and I, I've been impressed with some of the movement on offense, but I, I think they really need to focus on the transition game. Uh, we have a ton of speed and quickness, and, and I think we can, 
you know, I, I think we could run with, uh, with anybody. I mean, I don't think anybody wants to run with us. Uh, but I think Indiana, Indiana as a whole, the whole, the perplexion of the whole team's going to change when they get Jolkins back and they get uh, P.O. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. He's awesome. But when they get those two back, the whole dynamics of the team's going to change. Uh, you know, we're going to have a lot more depth. We can give Zello a last ever now and then. I mean, right now, I mean, it's just basically the same team we had last year, except having Yogi Phil. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I think once you get Jolkins in there and get him some minutes, uh, he is kind of left around the edges, but, I mean, he, he adds some height. And, uh, and, you know, I mean, he's seven foot. And then when you get Piola in, I mean, he's really athletic. He will add a little bit more athleticism to IU. Uh, like I said in the previous vlog, IU does not want to play some a team like Georgetown right now. Uh, because they're kind of lacking some size. And uh, I know they have Watford and, you know, they have Zell, but... Uh, but man, Georgetown just had a slew of players of six eight, you know. I, I mean six eight, six nine, and every one of them was extremely athletic. And uh, right now, Indiana's vulnerable. They're vulnerable in the post. They're vulnerable uh, if they had to take on a team again like Georgetown. Like the, they're going to take on North Carolina Tuesday, but. They take on a team like that, you know, they could be exposed or exploited, you know, how uh, how they've been doing in the post. Their post play will have been that impressive, to be honest. To me, I mean, it just, I mean, yeah, Zell scored, what, 16 points against Zildsham. Uh, but, man, I bet he missed 10 layups. <laughs> I mean... And, you know, some of it was defense by Jewel Shown. I understand that, you know, and and they fouled him a lot, but boy, I mean, they they just did an awesome job just pounding him, I think, you know, and but, you know, you add Peel to the mix when he gets back, I mean, that's, you know, when he's able to play and he becomes eligible again, you, you, that's gonna that's just gonna add you know, add a little bit more athleticism to the lineup, a little bit. It might improve the uh, defense a little bit, and maybe uh, it may improve the uh, ability to uh, to run in the transition a little bit. But I don't know. I mean, for some reason, I just think the tempo of the game and the is playing ain't. It isn't where they want to be playing. I mean, I think they want to run and gun a lot. Uh, they have the team to do it. One thing I do remember, uh, one thing I do remember about Indiana's defense and about Zell's play, when Indiana's in that zone, Zell, and when Jill Chen was, would drive against him, Zell would just kind of hang back. He needs to step up and stop the drive, you know, or contest the drive, you know, contest the shots and stuff, and he, he needs to do a battle job of it, and that's something he wasn't, he didn't do against Georgetown, but uh, my only prediction for the Ball State game, I mean, it may change tomorrow, is Indiana by 25 points. Uh, I think we're gonna win huge, big, you know, it's gonna feel good to be back at Assembly Hall fool them. Uh, North Carolina is a big game uh, Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what to expect from North Carolina. Like I said, they absolutely blew away Mississippi State. Mississippi State don't have anybody this year. And I don't think they're that good at all. But still, they absolutely pounded Mississippi State. So, but then they turn around and lose the butt which 
I know Butler's good this year, but I don't think they'll all that. You know, I mean, I don't think they'll like as good as North Carolina. I mean, I think North Carolina should have won that game. And I, I believe I didn't see the game, but I think I hold that they will. At one point, North Carolina was down by 17 in that game. I mean, that's just crazy. I tell you, Brad Stevens, the Butler, best coach. I mean, I think he absolutely blows away John Calipari. Brad Stevens is the next Coach K. He is a complete genius. Absolutely love him. And he's just right down the road for me. I mean, you know, unbelievable. Excellent coach. I mean, Butler, are you kidding me? I mean, two consecutive national championship game appearances a couple years ago. I mean, wow. I mean, that's something Indiana has never done. As rich as a tradition as Indiana has, we've never made it to the national championship game two consecutive years. We should have been 75, but uh, May ended up breaking his arm when we couldn't make it. But uh, yeah, I don't know, but but so North Carolina, I don't know. I think we'll beat them. I mean, we're at home, and uh, I th I think we'll beat them. Even though we're thin in the post, like I was, I've been saying, I, I think being at home uh, will really help us. Uh, uh, Kentucky struggled a little bit against. Uh, Oh, it's the Kentucky school. What's the name? Who did it? Moorhead. Let me just say, Kentucky basketball. <laughs> Even though I don't have them in my top five, they will probably. I I almost guarantee you they'll be in the top five as the season goes. So, uh, you know, Kentucky will get battles. They go and and they have an awesome amount of talent on that team so uh they will only get battled they're, they're young tomorrow's the preview of the ball state game and maybe talk a little bit more of what happened with Georgetown and you know what they I think they need to do against ball state uh you know I think it's a I think they will win the game but I think they need to really start getting more aggressive and I think uh, especially on defense I think they need to press a lot more uh, you know I'm not going to be too happy if they don't start pressing more I mean I, I think we have a team to do it and it would cause all kinds of trouble um, but honestly I, I honestly I think Tom Cream's waiting until we get up here or because I think he's gonna get a lot of minutes. Jolkins, he's gonna, he's gonna get minutes, but it's gonna take a while. I mean, he's just gonna kind of get whooped in here and there. Uh, and as the season progresses, he's gonna get a little bit more minutes. But Pierre, he's gonna be an instant uh, playmaker for IU, and uh, just like Yogi. And subscribe, and uh, you'll get a video every day. So. Peace.